Hi children, good morning. Welcome back to our session. So yesterday's class we have learnt about what do you mean by friction. So today let we see about the factors affecting friction. So here we can see, you can see children. Yes. So friction depends upon two factors. They are nature of the surface in contact, how hard the surface is pressed together. Friction is less on the smooth surface. We know that. So example, if any soap water is fallen down, keep the leg. What will happen for us? So we can skid. Is it? So that's why we will say that the smooth surface. Friction is very less in the smooth surface. So how many times? Nature of the surfaces in contact that is smoothness of the surfaces how hard the surface pressed together friction is less on the smooth surface friction is more on the rough surface yes if the rough surface is more if you throw a ball it doesn't goes much far is it yes so if you play on the slide how the slide will be it will be very smooth we can go very fast so if the surface is smooth the friction is less if the friction is if the friction should be the more the surface should be the rough here are the two examples friction is more if the surfaces are pressure harder so if the object is very hard the friction will be the more in if the surfaces we are going to press it as very harder friction is less if the surfaces are not pressed harder what it causes causes of friction friction is caused due to the interlocking of irregularities between the two surfaces in contact smooth sur surface have minute irregularities between the two surfaces rough surfaces have large irregularities between the two surfaces so force of friction is more if the surfaces are rough so here we can see that object if any object want to press we need more friction towards that object let me see now the types of the friction so mainly we are having the three types of friction they are static friction sliding friction and rolling friction static is uh, we can take the example of if you comb a hair and take the pieces of paper it is going to attract towards that comb that force is nothing but the static force or the static friction so static friction is the friction exerted on an object at rest position sliding we know children slide so the sliding friction is the friction exerted when the object slides over the surface sliding will play no children yes so from the top if you sit there easily we can come back that is nothing but the sliding friction Rolling friction. Rolling means it's nothing but when we are going to roll a ball. Yes. Rolling friction is the friction exerted when an object rolls over the surface. Sliding friction is slightly less than the static friction. Rolling friction is less than sliding friction and static friction. So we can see here the friction a heavy box is going to pull by a person and slide. Sliding friction and the last one is the rolling friction so for the first one which is the first one is the static friction second one is the sliding friction third one is the rolling friction friction is sometimes very useful what is how friction is useful for many of our daily activities friction between the feet and the ground helps us to walk on the ground it is possible to write with a pen or pencil or a paper due to friction. If there is no friction, we cannot write children. Friction between the pen or pencil on the paper. It is possible to write a blackboard due to the friction between the chalk and blackboard. Friction between the tires and the road helps automobiles to move on the roads. Suddenly, if you keep the brake, what will happen? It is going to stop due to the friction. Yes, that is also one of the use. Friction between the bricks helps the construction of buildings. So here the few examples we can see 
the taking of the glass between our hands and the glass the friction writing on the blackboard it's the example while walking also it depends on the road and what we have wear the slippers or the shoes then constructing of the buildings car moving on the road writing with a pen or a pencil so the friction sometimes undesirable so slows of show wear out due to the friction tires of bicycles and automobiles wear out of due to the friction steps of staircases and foot over bridges in railway stations wear out due to friction knives and razors lose their sharp edges due to the friction so here we can see that shoes if it is the roughness it has gone means we cannot walk it is going to skid due to the friction friction will be less in that situation so here the staircase if the staircase is very smooth sometimes we are going to skid it and these knives also it is going to lose it sharpness yes. so today's class we have learned the what are the advantages disadvantages of the friction so i think you have understood this session yes so tomorrow let me meet with another topic bye children bye